Niggas rather go on Queens flip and clown they sell. For the most part, that's some bozo shit that's going on. When Queen Flip put you on the phone with Kaz, cause he knew Kaz, and him and Kaz talked, and, 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 and they talked about you keep on clout chasing and putting his name in their mouth, but you up there like, oh yeah, we 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 talked on the phone. And I say that to say this, right? Why are you even on the phone with a rat like that? It don't matter what the fuck he say. If you're new, you're tuned in to the angry black man podcast make sure you hit like make sure you hit share make sure you share 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 even if it's the one person original black content the angry black man podcast hit that subscribe button right now hit that subscribe button right now let me say salute to the bread game huh i got a video right now on youtube it went viral i put it out about eight nine days ago maybe 10 days about seven about a week ago i exposed hassan campbell had already exposed the nigga right and I went in, I exposed him on how he said he didn't care about killing black people. He admitted to that. I showed y'all the receipts. Let me let me do a recap. I exposed him. Let's go. Called into the Gotti show because Hassan Campbell was on the show. Do you ever say to yourself sometimes, well, shit, I took these niggas' lives, but I really should have killed this nigga African Bam Bottom. Do you ever feel bad for that sometimes, taking other black men' lives instead of your victimizer? No, not at all. No, not at all. No. Not at all. But this is the game that niggas want to play. It shows how weak niggas is. And jealous niggas is. That's some sucker shit. The okay. question bitch-ass niggas should be asking is, yo, how many guns could I bring to this event right here? I'm not talking to no other bitch-ass niggas. Shut the fuck up, nigga. I'm talking to you, <laughs> nigga. I got to get you out of here, Brad, man. I'm not doing it tonight. You said a lot of spicy shit on the Gotti show. So I'm giving you an opportunity to redeem yourself, nigga. Nigga, I don't know. Fuck you think you talking to? Nigga, I ain't scared of you, nigga. <laughs> nigga, nigga, try, nigga trying to block me right now. Hey. Stop playing on me, bro. Y'all know what that is. That's a body. I don't care what you niggas say. Huh? 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 I had this nigga, I had this nigga, I had this nigga looking like Penny. That shit had 15 racks. Nigga, we had 15 racks right now. And it's not because of him. It's because of the content. It's because of the exposure. And here we are. Not even, not even a whole week later. And we got Casanova. Huh? We got Casanova basically confirming what I put you niggas on. I told you this nigga, he's not a real nigga from New York. I told you that niggas should be uh, weary of a nigga like this. That act like he don't know King Face. A, a nigga that should be weary, should be weary of a nigga who say, who, 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 who say he don't give a fuck if he kill black people. So you see that the groundwork, the groundwork is already laid. But here you have, here you have Casanova coming out and exposing this nigga as a flat out snitch. But he said, he said, he said, he said you was clout chasing, nigga, and saying too much. He was talking about Hassan Campbell. You was clout chasing, nigga, doing too much. I got, I got my fucking receipts up, and I'm, a, I want to go straight to him. Casanova, Casanova exposed this nigga as Hassan Campbell as a fucking rat. Let's go. You know, certain dude's name was until I seen him on Queen's Flip clowning. I can't stay quiet no no more. I, the whole while you got high up speaking on some of this shit, right? He's in no position to do it. I, the whole while you got high up speaking on some of this shit, right? He's in no position to do it. He's in no position to do it. You let him do it, so I better not hear a fucking word out of none of them bitch ass niggas. That's real. And the reason I say that and I decide to carry it that way is because what real G would decide to come on a what fucking mobster aside from Gotti and Capone and they didn't have internet but what mobster do you know that go public with mob affiliations knowing that the fans is watching Enrico they hear that hmm? 
But what mobster do you know that go public with mob affiliations knowing that the feds is watching and Rico, they hid that? Hmm? You said, nigga, you came on a Queen Slip show, nigga talking extra reckless, nigga. You try to get on the phone with me, acting like you knew me and shit, nigga. I was just trying to, I was just trying to get on, nigga, I, I needed to get on the phone with you to tell you to shut the fuck up. You was talking too much, nigga. That's the only reason I got on the phone with you, nigga. Now, hey, I'm paraphrasing. This needs, this leads me to something that may be a little bit more sinister. Because I told you all, and I showed you the receipts. And if you go look at the last video where I exposed him, I exposed him for, quote unquote, uh, killing black people. That he, that, he, that he had been abused, sexually molested from African Bambada. But yet you went out here around the same time and committed all these crimes and all this violence against black people. He said he didn't give a fuck. I showed y'all the receipts. But see, when I saw this shit with Casanova, it took my mind somewhere else. I said, you build your brand not on uh, trying to save kids from being molested like you was, like you claim. Uh, you build your brand on harming, you harm the black people, you got charged, and you got away. There's numerous footage of you bragging on how you took people's life, on how you, how you did crime, how you did work in the streets, nigga. That's how you put it. You got charged with all these, these major crimes, these bodies, and you didn't do no time. You didn't do no real time. I think you did, what, three, four years? So I'm going to keep it funky. Nigga, are you the feds? Let's just keep it funky. Hassan Campbell, are you a federal agent? Are you an inform Are you an informant? Are you a federal informant? Are you a state informant? Because you take in a lot of information. You disseminate a lot of information. If you do the knowledge, a lot of niggas get Locked up due to some of your intel and your information, Hassan Campbell. Casanova, Casanova is just the latest. Oh, y'all, y'all need more receipts. Well, matter of fact, let me go, let me go back, to, let me go back to Casanova first and show y'all, right? Just in case anybody just tuning in, I, I didn't say it. the nigga, the nigga who locked up told y'all. Let me go back. But I used to respect how, you know, certain dude's name was. Until I seen him on Queen's Flip. Clowning. I can't stay quiet no no more. I, the whole while, you got high up. Speaking on some of this shit, right? He's in no position to do it. You let him do it, so I bet I don't fuck the out of none of them bitch ass niggas. That's real. And the reason I say that and I decide to carry it that way. It's because what real G would decide to come on a what fucking mobster aside from Gotti and Capone and they didn't have internet, but what mobster do you know that go public with mob affiliations knowing that the feds is watching and Rico, they hear that. It gotta be something else. And that something else is not happening. Niggas rather go on Queens Flip and clown themselves. For the most part. I'm not like I said, not every single person, because there's at least two people I can think of that went up there that I got respect for, right? Or that I communicate with, right? For the most part, that's some bozo shit that's going on. For the most part, that's some bozo shit that's going on. And I keep my mouth closed because I, I, I say little indirect shit because I don't feel like I'm supposed to address people on the internet or at all. Like if, like if, like if they was buddy buddy. When Queen Flip put you on the phone with Kaz because he knew Kaz and him and Kaz talked and, and, and they talked about you keep on clout chasing and putting his name in their mouth. But you up there like, oh, yeah, we 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 talked on the phone. And I say that to say this, right? Why are you even on the phone with a rat like that? It don't huh? matter what the fuck he say. If you know you got things to hide, I can get on the job. I ain't doing Let me bring that back. Let me bring that back. Like if, like if, like if they was buddy buddy. When Queen Flip put you on the phone with Kaz because he knew Kaz, and him and Kaz talked, and, and, and they talked about you keep on clout chasing and putting his name in their mouth. 
But you up there like, oh yeah, we 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 talked on the phone. And I say that to say this, right? Why are you even on the phone with a rat like that? It don't matter what the fuck he say. Is this nigga Hassan Campbell a federal informant? That's what I want to know. I'm not. I'm not throwing. I'm not throwing no no fish no 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 darts in the fucking dark, nigga. I'm not fishing. This real shit. This shit make me not even want to report on this nigga no more. This shit make me not even want to cover a nigga like this no more. It's too close. It's too it's sounding too close. To you actually being a federal fucking informant, nigga. It's too close. This shit, this shit, this shit hit too close to home for me, nigga. I'm, and see, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Let me go back. Because see, this shit, this shit not for play. This man casting over, that's a fucking RICO charge. We talking RICO, nigga. We talking conspiracy. We talking about the, the government. Trying to fucking predict what's going on in my mind, nigga. You too fucking lazy. You too fucking lazy to wait and build a case. Pull out. You want to make up some shit. We talking Rico. We all know. Real niggas know what a Rico case is. So, I don't want to speak too much on a man whose life is in, in the balance, my nigga. I don't know his in-depth de in depth story. Maybe he really did change his life. Maybe he really did... Keep putting it. Who knows? That's what that's what the court of law is for. But we all know how it is for a black man, my nigga. Is Hassan Campbell a fucking rat? More so, is he a federal or state agent? I'm talking real shit. He claim he got bodies. He claim he got bodies, but he's only done like a couple of years in jail. He claim he put in all his work, right? But I can only account for about three, through what, three, three years prison time, three, four years maybe at the at the most. But even your stories, what you put out there, there's many discrepancies. What I'm saying is, you haven't done much time in prison. No, you haven't. Shout out to my nigga Kareem Johnson. I can I could get niggas up here to verify right now, nigga. You're not a real nigga from New York. You didn't do no real time in prison, nigga. You ain't, you ain't, nigga, you ain't built like that. I can get niggas on the platform right now to verify this, nigga. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. But see, here's the most sinister part. I'm going to show y'all some more receipts. You tuned in. You tuned in to the Angry Black Man Podcast. Make sure you hit like. Make sure you hit share. And make sure you hit subscribe right now. If you would like, if you would like to support the podcast, feel free to cash app. Dollar sign breadman two eight one. That's dollar sign breadman two eight one. You can also hit my PayPal. Feel free to PayPal bread daily eight three two. The link the link is in the chat. It gets more sinister because if I took y'all to YouTube, this is the type of shit I be talking about. If I type in if I type in Hassan Campbell, you just heard you just heard this man say. This nigga, this nigga, this nigga riding on me, bro. This nigga, this nigga was doing too much. Casting over. So then when I go and do the knowledge, as far as a year ago, you have Casting Over two times. This is Hassan Campbell channel. Casting over two times confronts Hassan Campbell about being a snitch. Are y'all paying attention? <laughs> Uh, hmm. That was over. That was over a year ago. Not only Casanova told you, but apparently, apparently, Hassan told you himself. And then the sickest part is, even as of three hours ago, this nigga still talking shit. This nigga Hassan Campbell still speaking on people open cases. How how sick and sinister is this? 
GQ Casanova uh, uh, versus uh, two times. Here's my thoughts. What I'm saying is, look at the first one right here that says it all. Over a year ago, nigga, you made a video, Hassan Campbell. You made a video about Casanova two times calling you a snitch, nigga. Then he finally came out publicly and outed you. Huh? He outed you, nigga. Being a rat. He got on the phone with you via Queens Flip. Called you out. Said you was clout chasing and doing too fucking much, nigga. Are you the feds? Are you a federal informant? Are you a state informant? How did you beat all those cases, Hassan Campbell? How is niggas getting locked up, nigga? Off of your intel now. Y'all thought he was exposed to niggas. He been ratting the whole time. Go back and do go back and do the fucking knowledge. Yeah. The, let's go ahead and wrap up this Hassan Campbell. Because see, I don't I don't really need these niggas. I don't really need these niggas to make my content. You feel me? I could not let this man slide. I, I couldn't let this man hit y'all with the Uti Wap. When when Casanova is doing doing the doing the best he can to alert you niggas. He got a case. He got a he he got a case on his head right now. And he's trying to do the best to alert, right? To make you niggas uh aware that Hassan Campbell's a fucking rat. Don't fuck with him. So when I saw that. I, I say I say you know what I say you know what Cass I got it I got it Cass because because I know I know for a fact you you frustrated because you can only do so much you can only say so much you don't want to indict yourself uh, anymore I get it and I get it so allow me sir. You tune in to the Angry Black Man Podcast. It's different. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the share button. And make sure you subscribe right now. It's different. It's different. We're about to round it off, man. We're about to round, we're about to round this situation off. I'm going to give you my thoughts on, on Hassan Campbell. And the, and the Casanova and the Casanova situation, but I wanna I wanna make sure I wanna make sure I set the mood. Let me let me let me let me set the mood right, huh? Let me give him let me give him his proper theme music, huh? Let me let me let me give him my let me give him my proper my proper theme music. Yeah, it's different. We're different here at the Angry Black Man Podcast. Huh? My final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Hassan Campbell Casanova situation. I showed you. I showed you the receipts. It's undeniable that Casanova has let people know that Hassan Campbell is a snitch, a rat. Now, whatever you want to do with that, that's your business. But you can't get around it. You cannot get around it. So I want to ask you, is Hassan Campbell the new Takashi 69? New York, we need answers, baby. I need, I need answers. New York, you got to stand up. Because are we going to continue to let a rat Talk about other rats? Huh? 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 Is this, is this, is this, is this Hassan Campbell keeping the spirit of Takashi 69 alive? Because, because, 
Y'all gonna let them keep making music. Y'all gonna let them keep making videos, right? Y'all gonna keep watching the videos, right? Y'all gonna keep subscribing to Sean Campbell, right? Y'all gonna keep breaking y'all money. Y'all gonna keep going in the pockets. Huh? So, 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 is he the new 6 9 Or is motherfuckers gonna finally wake up? Huh? Oh, what, 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 what you saying? You trying to say, uh, Casanova? Casanova is, is a liar now? Y'all saying Casanova cloud chasing Hassan Campbell? No. What we need to do is take heed. It's time to, uh, clean house. Right? We can no longer have Hassan Campbell masquerading around the black community as if he is for the black community when we know that this is not a fact. Huh? Huh? No ratting and no snitching on my YouTube block, nigga.